Nigeria will rise again, I believe. Today, in our discussion on how to make Nigeria rise again, I want us to look at how important it is for us to embrace freedom of speech. I come again. I want us to look at how important it is for us as a nation to embrace what I call freedom of speech. Now, listen, in a society where there is no freedom of speech, one of the things that will happen is this. Lies will thrive. Now, people will deliberately lie, not because they want to, but because they are afraid of uh, the pain, punishment that will be inflicted on them when they speak the truth. Yeah. A wise man said, any leader that creates fear in the people to the point that the people will not be able to freely speak the truth to such leader will gather around him nothing but mediocre. I listened to a program on radio. We were enjoying the program. Now they were talking about the situation of the country and everybody was making contribution. All of a sudden, we had sounds. They had to pause you know, from air. And later we discovered that some force men got into the studio because they felt that what the presenter was talking about was against the ruling government or ruling party. And this man was arrested. Can I tell us the truth? In an environment where there is no freedom of speech, one thing would thrive. And what is that? Lies. Now, because everybody will be afraid of one being arrested, people will be afraid of two being prosecuted without having a, 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 a proper investigation done, and we just choose to say, well, well, I'll keep silent instead of speaking the truth. And listen, if everyone decides to be silent when they are supposed to be speaking the truth, you know what will happen? Things will go very very wrong now i believe from some of the interviews i had that even some people in the authority of power are not told what is actually happening in the society now people go around them to lie to them to tell them that ah, things are going fine they even give them fal false testimonies about the things happening beloved I want Nigeria to rise again. And I know you also want Nigeria to rise again. But one of the gateways to making Nigeria rise again is that we should embrace freedom of speech. I know your fear. Now, what is the fear of that uh, giving people the, uh, a license to speak freely? I know that so many nonsense will be said. Yes, we can't deny that and we can't stop that. But amidst the nonsense, we will get one or two senses. Or can I say common sense that will help us put things aright. Now, remember there was a time a government came up and announced what we call whistleblowing. Do you know how much Nigeria recovered from that whistleblowing people had the confidence to come out to say yes sir i knew this about so and so person and authorities were brought in do you know that they followed the instruction of those uh, uh, whistleblowers and eventually got hold of certain things that benefited the nation please i believe that nigeria will rise again but let's start from our family then we move it into our organizations, our local government, our state, then our nation as a whole. Now, what are we going to move into it? Let us say, let us give room for people to express their mind. Now, listen, when you give room for people to express their opinion, does, it does not mean that you agree with their opinions. But at least in one way or the other, you will pick one or two things. I believe Nigeria will rise again, but take hold of the word of wisdom for today. For Nigeria to rise again, we need to embrace what we call 
freedom of speech. Can we take our pledge? I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me God.